It's called the American dream for a reason. And it's about to get really hard to achieve. I'm worried about how buyers are going to purchase homes fairly and how this is going to negatively affect the consumer. There's case action lawsuits against NAR, which is National Association of Realtors, and some huge big name brokerages, Douglas Elliman, Remax, blah, blah, blah. They won that lawsuit. And part of that lawsuit was that the sellers were claiming they were unaware and shouldn't have to be responsible to pay out a portion of that commission to go to a buyer's agent. If this verdict sticks, this will change the way real estate agents do business. But that's not why I'm making this video today. That is going to make it extremely hard for you and me, the consumer, to purchase real estate, creating a nation of renters versus a nation of owners. And I think the timing is pretty coincidental. BlackRock and these big corporations are buying up homes that we normally would buy as first time home buyers and then renting them back to us. Interest rates go to historic highs. Seems a little too coincidental. Do you know why they call it the American dream? and not the Australian dream or the Italian dream, because in those countries, that's how real estate is practiced, where we're headed. It takes away the buyer's ability to be entitled to their own representation. It's gonna change the way we do business. It's gonna hurt the consumer on a multifaceted of ways, but the buyers are not gonna be able to be adequately represented. That doesn't seem a little too coincidental. 